happy, happy, happy Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday for sure. Um, I don't know what to say about today. Today was a little chilly. So chilly that I went home early from work. Not because I was sick, not because I was ill or anything like that. It's because it's winter. And when we get winter weather here in Austin, I'm pretty sure if I was the only car on the road, I would be fine. But other drivers are not as skillful as other drivers or even myself. And I don't really consider myself a safe driver. Because I'm actually pretty of a pretty crappy driver. But this is where I've become a better driver than most people. Is like I acknowledge I'm a crappy driver. So I do things to mitigate my crappy driving. Not every driver does that. Not every driver is self-aware that they're a crappy driver. Which makes them a really crappy driver. So I went home before like the major storm was going to hit. And I'm going to say there's a one part of the drive. I kind of puckered up going over a bridge that kind of went up and then kind of down. Because it was pretty icy. I mean, they were treating the roads, but ice is ice. Um, and the thing with ice is you can't go, you can't go really fast. You can't throttle the, the engine to get over it or you'll, or you'll spin. You can't even have your brakes on because if you put too much brakes on, you're going to spin. So you kind of have to ease it into it. You got to let inertia take its course. And unfortunately, most people freak out when they go over ice, especially here in Austin, Texas. Because this is a, um anomaly that happens here in Austin. And when I say anomaly, it does happen every year. Don't get me wrong. I understand that. But the amount of ice we get lasts maybe a day couple hours at that and every so often we get a storm that lasts multiple days and this is one of those storms now i don't know if this is our february winter death throw storm that we normally get because we always get one in february even though this is january this is january 31st when i'm recording this but it's cold now of course i did get pissed off on the way home because uh the constables are trying to keep us safe by keeping us safe. They made us go into a parking lot, which had no clear way of getting out. But just to understand what we're talking about here, I'm talking about temperature-wise. Now, it's not raining today, but right now it's going to be 29 at around 5, according to this station right here. And it's just going to... Not 29, but yeah, 29, 29 is probably going to warm up around 7. And, of course, we got the next day. Now, unless something changes, th th this person's staying home tomorrow. I might do a streaming tomorrow. I don't know. Go over the weather updates. You know, there's not going to be much. I haven't really decided on that. So, if I'm not streaming tomorrow, I decided I'd rather... Uh, Sit on the couch watching YouTube and knit my blanket. But the so going back to my my stories, like it was this area right here. No, I was driving right here. Um, I think it was. Oh yeah, it was like over here. Cause this is the exit they had us go off of. Now, I didn't, I didn't know what was going on, but right here, they had it blocked off. So, I drove here, down here, going all the way up here, going to Breaker. Now, if I was, knew what was going on, or if the radio was telling me, and this is the thing, the radio really wasn't telling me, even the uh, Kelby J at the time, because this was around 10 o'clock. Getting closer to maybe 10.30. Because I was driving pretty slow. They didn't tell me that Mopac was closed for this bridge up here. Um, pretty much. 
I think, yeah, there's a bridge somewhere right here. I can't forget where it is. But I think it's like right there. And the thing is, I want to go right here. I want to be right here. To go over here so I can go home. But the bridge is right here. But they stopped us. Anytime. They could have stopped it right here. But they didn't. But because there's no bridge right there. There's literally no bridge right here. Well, I guess there's a bridge right there. So I take that back. Yeah, never mind. I forgot. There's a bridge right here. And I guess it was getting a little too icy for them. So they shut it down. No. I'm actually here. So the constables had this exit right here. Even the turnaround was closed. This turnaround was closed. I wasn't able to get there. Although I was able to get there. So they had us closed going to here. Now looking at the bird's eye view. I do see that. When I was over here, I could have just gone right here. I did see this right here, but I've never been in this building. I've never been in this area. So how am I supposed to know? I was just following some people. So I think it's like right. I think it was either right here or right here. But there's an exit. I don't remember where the exit is according to this picture, but they were right here. I was able to get out right here. Bypass them and go all the way around and go off a breaker. So this is my frustration. It's where I got pissed off driving home. Because all I wanted to do was go home. And I'm not a person that likes driving. I kind of get cabin fever when I'm driving. Because I don't like driving. Now if I'm a passenger, that's completely different. But yeah, I'm over here driving all the way around here. Finally get back over here. Maybe it was like right here somewhere where I was able to get out like how am I supposed to know I don't go here every day go right here go back in the breaker even break let's see here's the most frustrating part now I'm looking at it because I want to go I guess west I guess that would be west yeah west no west is that way this will be going east I want to go to east now, I could go through the domain and get back to where I wanted to go, but that adds more complications and more risk than I'm willing to deal because you got to deal with these people driving, not knowing where they're going, people stopping and going. And it's one big parking spot or lot. And I'm just not all about that. I mean, yeah, I could have gotten back over here to go on to Duval, but would have been slightly quicker, but it's already icing. So I was able to get here to break and go north on the ball and get home. But yeah, like like I said, it's um, it's not pleasant to be driving out there, especially with road closure. And yeah, we'll go ahead and pause you. I wish they would just stop a auto plane. But of course, here's for KV, which is a local. We just did not do that. Anyways, no thanks. Updates, icy conditions, causing closures, crashes on central Texas roads. Here's the latest updates on crashes, road conditions, and other closures due to weather. Freezing rain has brought icy road conditions to central Texas, forcing road closures and causing crashes. I saw a couple crashes. Well, I didn't see any couple crashes in the moment like I did, I guess, five years ago. Yeah, that was pretty um, crazy when I went to work. I don't know why, but I always go to work when I should stay at home during these weather events. The major ice storm that happened a few few years ago, I did stay home because I had no power. So, there was that. Let's see here. Causing crashes. Schools and businesses also have shut down as a region dealing with icing and cold temperatures. The Texas Department of Transportation tech stop began pre-treating bridges and overpasses on major Austin roads on Sunday in preparation for the expected icy conditions on Tuesday, Wednesday. And even so, crashes and closures have been reported as roads remain slick. Yes, they are slick. So unless you have to uh, go out, I would recommend just staying home. 
also uh, had to take a break from driving, so I stopped at the corner store. Saw so one of my um, street neighbors. He <laughs> he was bored and he wanted to go drive, and his wife told him he can't, so he walked to the corner store to get out of the house. Um, officials are warning residents to stay off the roads if they if they can because icy conditions. If you must drive, take it slow. Yes, take it very slow. But signals dark, treat it as a four-way stop. Interactive map. Eh, you're going to see a lot of that. This here, Tuesday at 3.35 p.m. Icy conditions have exit to the northbound Highway 183 closed on U.S. 290 westbound. 3.30 p.m. 290 westbound between Palmer Lane and Gills Lane is closed due to ice. 3.15 Highway 45 westbound between Turnsville Road and I-35 in Buda has reopened. Oh, wow. Meanwhile, 1.30 told northbound between FM 812 exit uh, 453 and Texas 71. Exit 449 has closed due to icing. Uh, 3.05 p.m. An accident was reported. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going back. Here, where is this? With increasing blah 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 blah. Yeah, we know that. That's in Leander. Does it really talk about Mopac? I just want to know if it talks about Mopac. Because that would suck if it talked about Mopac and I wasn't here. Oh, let's see here. Release of the Travis County revealed more information about the involving deputy. According to the release, the deputy was helping a driver on. An 18 wheeler when another 18 wheeler slid on the icing road, hitting the deputy. Oh, yeah, this was at the airport. He was pinned under the tractor tires at 39 block SH 130 northbound around 846 a.m. Oh, no, 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 this is something else. This is not the airport. Let's see here. PS code DPS AFD and all that good. Free the deputy around 9.36 a.m. and he was taken to a nearby hospital. The release went to say that the deputy is currently in surgery and expected to survive his injuries. I hope he uh, thrives after his uh, recovery. But I don't know if that's going to be possible. Let's see. I want to offer my heartfelt Gratitude to everyone who responded and assisted this deputy in his time in dire need. Both his logical and his TCSO family have are relieved and thankful that he is alive. Please, please don't drive on these icy roads. It's not worth your lives, your life, or the lives of the first responders who are literally putting their personal safety on the line. Let's see here. Mopac has been closed in both directions. Ooh. On road 290. This is actually open. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, was this bridge that was reopened when I was going? I mean, I did see cars off onto the side. This is where I, I puckered up. Because you're, you're going up. I was going about 50 miles per hour and I was going up. I was losing speed, but I also could, could, could tell that there was ice on the road. So you don't really want to brake hard. You don't really want to put your foot on the brake. So it was uh, kind of tense until I got over. But that was reopened by the time I went. Let's see here. Palmer Lane closing both the traction. Yeah. I predict um, a lot of this is going to be a repeat tomorrow. But anyways, I think I rambled on about how... You should just stay home. You should just stay home. Um, let's see here. Let's tomorrow's gonna be more of the same, if not worse. So unless you actually have to be at work, I'm just calling sick now. Thursdays is probably gonna be a lot easier, but like I said, it's gonna be 34. 
30, yeah, 34 by the time I wake up and get ready to go to work. So there sh shouldn't be that much ice. I mean, there may be some ice as it melts. Because ice melts pretty quickly when it gets above freezing. For the most part, especially on the road when you get people driving over it. So I should be good. Hopefully on Thursday to go to work. But we'll see. We'll see if this changes. Because, um, who knows? Maybe tomorrow I'll look at this, uh, this, this forecast and it'll be a lot like Tuesday. So we'll have to just play it by ear. Anyways, that's my video. And hopefully, if you live in Austin, hopefully you do not lose power. Let's hope we don't lose power again. Because that sucked. Um, but hopefully we don't lose power. Hopefully they learn their lessons from their failures. From a few years ago, we don't lose power. And hopefully we all stay safe. And hopefully we have enough food. And we stay warm. With that being said, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening. And I'm going to go eat some ice cream for dinner. And think about what I'm going to do tomorrow. Since I have the day off.